Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Jen, and the channel is called Faith Made Legacy. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, it's a newer channel about a lot of different things. Definitely a main focus of mental health and addiction. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this right now. I'm going to be doing my first Zoom interview um, and my second interview all together with a uh fellow YouTuber. His name is Daniel and his channel is called Veterans with Anxiety. Um, I came across his channel. I've been watching it from the beginning. It's an amazing channel. Um, it is also like recovery based. A couple other things we'll get into that with Daniel in a minute here. And um, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I am going to link his channel down below as well as I'm going to link a video down below because Daniel and Veterans with Anxiety um, actually interviewed me, I want to say a couple weeks ago. Um, and he really was able to pull some stuff out of me um, that was out of my comfort zone that I keep talking to you guys about that I want to, you know, really push on the channel. So if you guys want to go check that video out on his channel, I'll link it down below along with his channel link. And now let's get started. So Daniel, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. 26 years old. Okay. Um, so right now you're clean from drugs, right? Is that correct? You're, yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're I in recovery. Any, um, yeah, I use uh, marijuana, but that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. And, um, <laughs> and so you're in um, recovery. How long have you been clean right now? Um. Honestly, I just got clean again because I just had a little relapse. So, I mean, uh, honestly, I've only been clean for like about three weeks, four weeks, about a month again. Yeah. Four weeks. Okay. And as I remember, it was like um, a more of a minor relapse, but it really is still kind of got you and everything else with withdrawal and everything like that. And you were really able to bounce back pretty quick. So. No, that was good. Uh, so you've been clean right now since your most recent relapse for about three or four weeks. Um, I remember when I started watching your channel and you had really just started when you started the channel, how long had you been clean for? Um, I've been clean for about, about, let me see, actually, that's tricky. Hold on. Let me see. September, maybe like two or three months, maybe like two months or maybe like a month and a half, not like a month and a half, two months, I think not very long. Sure um but when you originally started the channel you had been clean for like four or five months was it no like two months like one and oh, a half, it was that, it was two months okay for some reason i yeah. thought it was a long time wow okay really impressive then so and your drug of choice is uh was heroin was heroin okay and then i know you have had like some experience with a few other of you know kind of up there tops um so yeah. what else does you kind of mess around with and stuff like that <laughs> uh well i mean okay so well honestly i've done i mean i mean i'm not gonna lie i've done pretty much i've done pretty much every drug on, almost uh but like i mean mainly it was yeah mainly it was like cocaine and xanax and then and then obviously the heroin but um but yeah yeah definitely cocaine and xanax were the other two you know okay and, um when did you first mess around with drugs, Daniel? You're only 26. I'm thinking that's like young. I know that there's like a lot of young um, people in addiction right now and active addiction and everything else, but it's a lot younger than me. And I'm thinking like you're already in recovery and you're doing such a great job. Um, and I'm just curious, like, when did you get started? How did that all kind of come about? Um, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely the first time I ever used drugs was going is uh probably when i was honestly probably like 13 or 14 years old okay. um well that was like i was smoking weed and then um yeah and then uh and then but the first time i ever did any type of like real like drug like a pill or like something crazy like that was like in high school and then uh in high school um and it was a xanax it was xanax um that's what like my first two like little drug experiences was weed and xanax i guess and then um but uh, yeah, and then the, like my high school is crazy though. They were selling they were selling he uh, heroin in there too. So that's how I uh, I got started on. I started doing heroin when I was like seventeen or eighteen. 
Wow. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 like 16, like 16 or 17. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, pretty much my parents found out and I got caught and I ended up getting clean and um, I moved to San Antonio, Texas. Right. And, and then I finished, yeah, I finished high school there, um, graduated there. And then I joined the army right after I graduated. So I was like 18, right. When I joined the army and then, uh, as far as, yeah, as far as that though, I was clean. So like when I first got to Texas, I was clean is what I mean. You know, I stayed clean most of that time, most of that time. I do have some stories to tell about that, but, uh, yeah, most of that time I was clean though. I'll say that. Um, and then I was clean when I joined the army sort of i kind of went in did there that, like, withdrawn a little bit um, not to interrupt you but, but did that have any like impact on like your choice to join the army was to um <sighs> not really maybe a little bit because i didn't really know what i was gonna do you know i didn't really know what i wanted to do so um maybe a little bit right so go ahead i'm sorry i interrupted you so you're uh in san antonio now getting ready to join the army yeah, yeah. Um, I joined. Yeah, I joined when I was eighteen. I um, after I graduated high school, and um, when I was in the army, I stayed clean for the most part until more towards the end of it. And then I started doing this thing called Poppy CT. <laughs> All right, and then uh, yeah, that was like more towards the end though. Um, I I still I got like an honorable discharge and everything. I never got in trouble. I got very lucky. I passed every drug test and everything. I don't know how. Um, well, I do know how, but I just drink a lot of water, but yeah, no, for real though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I got really lucky and, um, I, I, you know, I got out of the army and then after I got out, that's when everything got really bad though, you know, as far as drugs. So, uh, how old were you then when you got out? Like how long ago did you get out? Oh, um, uh, that was in 20, 2017. So you did like five years or something like that? I did like five years. Okay. And so, um, 2017. And so then things started getting crazy with drugs. So now let me see you're back home. You're on honorable mm. discharge. Um, you've stayed clean and everything like that. Now, um, again, your channel is called by runs with anxiety. Um, so I'm assuming at this point you have, um, anxiety, maybe like a little bit of PTSD and stuff from, um, you know, things that, you saw in the army and just from being a soldier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I so, didn't even mention that. I forgot. I went to <laughs> Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> um, so did that like kind of trigger some self-medication and that kind of stuff or, you know, what, what caught, like when, what caused when you got home, just this like drug use? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that would, if I would say that 100% caused it, but, um, what I will say though is, uh, I had a lot of anxiety from the army, and that, uh, and you know that, like that, that all those downers just kind of help with that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so it helped me sleep. I always have always had issues sleeping, and always have like nightmares and shit like that from stuff, you know, from you know military or whatever. And uh, yeah, that definitely helped me just like, you know, pass out basically, and just not. Dream. I didn't have dreams or anything like that. I don't even think I had dreams. I don't remember dreaming at least, you know, yeah. and that was kind of like the reason why I was doing it, I guess. Um, but yeah, well, not the only reason why, but one of them, I guess, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So talk to me about, um, like how, like your military background and everything like that with the whole like veteran, um, status that you have, like what were, when did, was that when you were 18 and then like, did you take a break from these opiates and like, how did all that start? Like, what's your background with the military? And then yeah. how did your drug addiction play in with that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so or not playing I, with it. Uh, yeah, no, I, um, I, so I, like I said, I did, I got on heroin right when I was like 16 or so. Well, you count back home in about 2017. So to sum that up, you were basically using like another three, four years. And um, how yeah, did definitely. you wind up getting clean this now? I guess it's like other than your relapse, maybe like three, four months ago, maybe a little longer. I'm not sure. So how did that come about? Because I'm assuming that you've been to rehab more than once or mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe you haven't been. I don't know. Have you been to rehab before? Yeah, yeah. Well, not like a full rehab, but I have been to like detoxes or whatever for like right. a week, like a week long thing, you know, that's like the <laughs> longest I've ever done, though. I've never done anything crazy. And uh, 
like i've never stayed in a detox forever but yeah no i've never i've literally never had that option uh, i've never like had that opportunity but um yeah so i've done detoxes i've done like maybe i don't know maybe probably did it like honestly i probably checked in at least seven times i'm not even gonna lie probably checked in and out like seven times um and like pretty much every time i went in there i ama though you know yeah um but uh yeah over over like the course of three years i probably went in there like seven times yeah okay and so um and so what was your um reason for going this last time i never went this last time that's oh, not how really? i did it this last time yeah when i actually got clean i didn't go in there um and it's kind of because uh, it just, I don't know, to me, I just don't, I can't do it. I can't get locked. I can't do the whole, I'm locked up straight up. I it, hear just, you. it just like trips me out. I get like super crazy in there, you know? Um, I don't like it. Just, it just gets me <laughs> in my head basically is what I'm saying. But yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I ended up, uh, getting, getting onto Suboxone. Um, and, uh, I just did that through the VA, you know, through oh, the yeah, okay. so I just go to the VA hospital. So, and you know, yeah, the reason why I did that was because, um, I just kept failing at the, um, at going, to, I was going to detoxes and, and like, I would be clean for maybe a couple of weeks or maybe just a couple of the days, honestly, sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. um, but then I would just always relapse, you know, later on or whatever it was. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's why I ended up doing that. But yeah, that's so you a, that's had it in you to that you really did want to get clean though, and it just took like a few tries. I can yeah. technically relate to this because like I quit cocaine. I quit pretty much everything um without um rehab. Um the only thing that I've detoxed for is benzos, and it's only been like a five-day detox, which is a whole nother story. But like, yeah, I can relate because I know that a lot of people it takes them like 90 day inpatient and all that kind of stuff to actually quit. So I figured since you had tried a couple times, like maybe this was like the final rehab or something like that. But okay, so now you're um is this the longest you've ever been clean for? Other than, let's say, like, other, I know we're not supposed to say that, but let's say other than the, the relapse, like, back when you started your YouTube channel, is this the longest? Um, and I kind of say that, too, because if you guys watch, um, check out his channel, he did, like, a lot of live documentation during this last relapse and, um, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. everything like that. So, um, I believe, you know, a lot of the subscribers and just everything, I think, um he was able to get through it faster than maybe without, you know, and yeah, for sure. And, mm -hmm. um, so is this your longest sober period other than when you went to the army? Um, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Other okay. than the army. Yeah. So, okay. And then basically, um, so like, what are you, uh, doing to keep yourself busy right now like are how are things like at this time is there still like a lot of like frustration and like difficulties um because this is kind of like that time period where it's like okay I'm clean and I want to stay clean but I'm frustrated because I'm dealing with like the you know situations I set myself in you know whether it's like financially, you know, like places to live, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like, what, what are you working on now? Or what do you like, are you doing good with like anxiousness and or anxiety and depression? Like, and, um, you know, just moving forward and like having a goal, you know what I mean? Like, are you, um, are you in a good place right now? Like I didn't realize that you had actually gone to a doctor and if that's how you got on Suboxone and that's what it was. So right. I guess um, you're enjoying sober life much more. Yeah, it's time. definitely a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of problems that are not in ex existent. Um, I'm sure, um, so I wanted to ask you like when you were in this and you know, with your age and everything like that, did this cause like a lot of problems with relationships, family, like things like that? Mm -hmm. Or did you have a lot of support, emotional support, yeah. you know, stuff like that? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. It caused some issues with, with family and friends. Um, and, but yeah, I mean, I had support though. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I did have their support for most of it, I would say. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, no, definitely screwed up relationships though. I'll say that for sure. Oh uh, yeah do to stay busy um i mean i've been doing uh i've been like well first of all i actually went camping for like i never did that before well i couldn't do that before you know what i'm saying because 
if I did, I'd be withdrawn. You know what I'm saying? There's I no do. way I could do that yeah. shit. So like, yeah, that was one thing I did. But uh, other than that, yeah, I mean, I've just been running my YouTube channel, um, you know, keeping busy that way. Because uh, honestly, that does take up a lot of my day. Um, and then probably, uh, I mean, I don't know, just hang out. I've been, I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house and just, you know, I don't know, just trying to keep myself busy like that, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's definitely awesome. Um, so I think that answers like a lot of the questions that I was thinking about. Um, I do want to say a couple things. Um, number one, you know, I watch your channel. Um, you are totally inspiring. Um, you're 26, you're in recovery, you're a veteran, like all this stuff about you is so great. Um, I really am excited for you and I'm really excited to see where you go. Um, I see like, I just see like huge, great things coming from you. Um, I also think that you're amazing on your channel in helping other people, um, with your chats, with everything else. I see people, you know, in there that are actually in there, um, you know, saying that they've been clean for 10 days because of you and this and that and other stuff. Yeah. And I mean, that is just like absolutely huge. Yeah, um, crazy. You, know, you just started and you're taking off and you're just so dedicated to it. And um, I think it's awesome. And I am very proud of you. And I want to thank you very, very much for doing this interview. Um, I had fun. And again, you guys, this is Daniel. His channel is Veterans with Anxiety. Um, my name is Jen, and this channel is Faith Made Legacy, and everything will be linked down below. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, yeah. And I was just going to say thank you so much, Daniel. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. It was good. Absolutely. All right. I appreciate it.